Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and this is the software tour of the Motorola Bravo MB520. So let's get started. So the Bravo is running Android 2.1 along with the Moto Blur 1.5 user interface. So that gives you uh, many pages that you can put applications on or other programs or widgets. So if I want, I can add a widget here. I just hold down and go to either Motorola widgets or Android widgets. So I'm going to choose one of the Motorola ones here. And we have many different widgets that we can choose from. Um, you can also download other widgets on the Android market for the Android widgets or sometimes you can also find the ones for the Motorola widgets. So let's say that we wanted to add a date and time, just hold this here and select the clock style and we'll just click done and it shows us the uh, date and time. So I'm just going to go into the applications here and we have a few proprietary applications. We have the Moto Blur accounts which uh, gives us our account information. We have alarm and timer which is different on this particular device opposed to different Android devices. We can change the clock if we'd like. We'll just go down here and let's say we wanted to change it to this uh, sort of modern style. We can just go click on here and then change our clock. We also have a timer there. We have AT&T Family Map but the only thing that that does is it sends a link and turns this into a bookmark. So all it does is launch the browser to the AT&T Family map website. We have AT&T Maps and AT&T Navigator. Both of them are a paid for service that costs around $10 a month. We have AT&T Music which is also a paid for service and I believe that this costs uh, $4.99 a month so we'll just exit out of that. We have AT&T Radio which is how you listen to the FM radio on this particular device. So you can either subscribe or go to the FM tuner. So I'm just going to go to the FM tuner. I don't have any headphones plugged in right now so we won't be able to hear anything but we'll just wait for it to load. And there we go, we have a FM signal, so we can go back and go back again. We have the AT&T Wi-Fi hotspot, so that program shows you all of the AT&T Wi-Fi hotspots in your area. You can also search by zip code if you'd like. And city and state, and go back. A browser, of course. Calculator, which is the default calculator on any Android device. Uh, the calendar, which is also the default calendar. We have a camcorder, which, as I've said in the hardware tour, is only CIF resolution, so a very low resolution camcorder, and our camera, which is a 3.1 megapixel camera. Go into our contacts, if you'd like. Uh, go into our dialer. Unfortunately, this device does not have speed dial. Uh, like, if you begin typing a name or number, it doesn't recognize the number off the bat. So let's say if I was to type 206 or something, it wouldn't give me a list of contacts in my contact list. So let's go back. We have DLNA, which is an awesome program. If you've ever used uh, media sharing over your network, this phone allows you to do that so you can share your media from the device or you can also share your media on other computers or network drives or uh, like a PlayStation Wii or Xbox 360. You can do all that and just play it on the phone itself or you can play the media on the phone on those particular devices. So we'll just go back and we have email and a file explorer. So a pretty generic just shows us phone files and shared folders. The shared folders is where you can also set up uh, to share folders over your network. Just go back. Gallery. I don't have any pictures on this device right now so you won't see too much. Just go back and Gmail. Help Center. Instant Messaging. So you can add an instant messaging account. I believe there's quite a few on here. Let's go in here. Uh, no, just AIM at Windows Live Messenger and Yahoo. Latitude, which is the Google application that shows your friends or family or whoever where you are and you can also view them. And of course Google Maps, we've all seen that. The Android Market, we've all seen that. Media Share, which ties into the DLNA application and that allows you to share certain media. Messaging, so you can view your Universal Inbox, your text messaging, your Facebook, or your Twitter. I'll just go back. We have Mobile Banking, which is pretty cool if your bank is on the list. Unfortunately, not every single financial institution is on there, so you'll have to load that application and search for your particular bank or uh, credit union or whatnot. Uh, mobile Video, that uses, that plays videos, but it only plays over the network connection, so it won't work over Wi-Fi, so we'll just disable this here and it connects to the Singular Video website. So we'll just go back. You can also view Mobile TV, which also works over the uh, 
data connection unfortunately doesn't work over 3G so I can hit continue but it costs around $10 a month. We'll just go back. We have music. Unfortunately I don't have any music on here also because this is a brand new device. I haven't, I haven't uh, synced up everything yet but we can view artists. This is all the default uh, Android 2.1 music browser. We have Google Navigation news which we can sign up for many different news accounts. I have the travel channel photos right here so if I want I can view any one of these articles and just go back. Phone portal which allows us to sync our device either with a USB connection or through Wi-Fi so we can share our uh, media. We can also download our text messages to our computers and save our contacts and all that other great stuff. I'll just go back. We have Places, which is a Google service, and that gives us many different categories to search through. Restaurants, coffee bars, hotels, all that other great stuff. And it shows us our nearby uh, location, so we'll just go back. We have Quick Office, which allows us to view all of our documents, and we've probably all seen that before. Our settings, social networking, so we have Twitter and Facebook and probably some other things on here. Let's see. Uh, mine is just set up for Twitter and Facebook, so we'll just go back. Google Talk, so we've all seen that before. Task Manager, this has its own proprietary task manager, and you can also set it up so it auto ends applications so it helps save the battery. So we'll just go back. Text messaging, Vlingo Voice, which allows us to tap and speak, so Blockbuster, and that will uh, find the closest Blockbuster to me and give me the phone number and all the other contact information. Hopefully it works pretty quickly. Let's see here. So we'll just hit OK, and we're able to view the closest Blockbuster to my proximity. And we can do voice commands, which is similar to uh, Google Voice Search. And we can also go to Where, but that's a paid-for application, which costs $2.99. We have YouTube and YP Mobile if you want to use Yellow Pages opposed to using the Internet or Google. So another great feature that they've included on this device is Swipe Keyboard. So if you like to use the Swipe Keyboard, or if you ever have, it works really great. All you have to do is go move your finger, and we've probably all seen this before, and you just move your finger across to the letters, and it starts to type out the word. So this has been the software tour of the Motorola Bravo MB520. And if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also leave some comments down below. We'd like to hear what you're saying. And in case you missed it, you can check out the unboxing right about here. Just click on this link or the hardware tour right about uh, here or so. And thanks for watching.